Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Darren Tang. I bowl professionally on the PBA Tour, and this is your monthly bag update for October, where I am gonna show you how to build the best arsenal possible with the current inline bowling balls. We're gonna have six different slots because typically we're bringing six bowling balls to whatever tournament we're bowling. At the top of the bag, we're gonna have the brand new Magic Gem. Now, this is a big, strong, asymmetric ball, pretty similar to the original gem, just a little bit of pearl in it. So we're gonna throw a couple shots here, and typically, first slot of the bag, big, strong, asymmetric, solid ball. Now the reason why I like to throw these big strong asymmetric pieces is because they lock up pretty quick and that solid cover helps blend out that shape, makes them nice and early, reads the front of the lane, blends out the pattern. Now it wasn't the best shot, we're gonna make a little adjustment here. Some other balls that you can put in slot number one, similar to this one, Eternity Pie, I've been throwing a ton, I really like that one. And on the Storm side, we have the DNA. This one really wants to pick up quick. Again, I think it's pretty similar to the gem. So if you have a gem, you really like that one. You just want something that's gonna pop off it just a touch more. Magic gem is gonna be a perfect option. But again, other balls that you can put up there, Eternity Pie and DNA. Now in slot number two, it's another fresh option for myself. A ball that I have been throwing a lot. It's gonna be the Tour Dynamics. It's a pretty specialized piece. Kind of meant to bridge the gap between urethane and your reactive balls. This is a reactive ball, really low RG, very low differential as well, which is the same in urethane balls. Low differential, those numbers are very similar. That's what makes these balls comparable. Now I don't have urethane today because honestly I've been kind of throwing urethane less and less so that's why we don't have urethane in the bag but that is always an option. Now it's just a different look. You don't really want to have too much overlap. I wouldn't carry an Eternity Pie and a Magic Gem in the same bag if I only have six options. But this one provides a different look just because of the numbers and the cover stock is weaker. I like to control where it hooks with surface. Slot number two is going to be Tour Dynamics. Other balls that you can put in this slot, really the only one I would exchange this one for is the IQ Tour, the original solid. No. Oh. So what do we do when our big strong bowling balls or the balls with a lot of surface start to burn up a little bit or having trouble getting that ball to hook in that correct window? We start balling down. So we're getting to the middle of the bag. I have an interesting setup here. I've got the brand new TNT infused, which I'm gonna throw first, but I also have a gold label. And those are fairly similar in range as far as their strong symmetric bowling balls. This one is a hybrid, two parts pearl. The gold label is only pearl. I am going to use surface to make them a little more different. All the layouts are pretty much kind of close here. Now the Infuse is brand new. I am liking it a lot. It has a very middle of the bag clean shape. I've always had one-two punches, you know, phase two, Zen, Summit, Gold Label. Now I have Infuse to pair with another ball that's gonna be a little bit smoother, just a little stronger. Now, like I said, I got a couple of pieces here that are fairly comparable. I'm just changing the surfaces. I don't have the Summit here today because this one is also a hybrid. While being a little cleaner, I could just bring it down with surface. Down, the lower numbers are gonna be more grit. That cover is pretty responsive. Every time I've hit it with some surface, I even moved a couple left, it hooks like an arrow more. Just keep in mind that changing the surface on this ball can give you a way different result. Moving on, we got the gold label, which is gonna be, in my opinion, a little smoother. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is in numbers, but I know this one's about a couple points higher in the RG department. So it's gonna wanna go a little bit longer. So these third and fourth slots are gonna be occupied by our one-two punch balls. This is gonna be TNT infused for me and gold label as well. Other options include Fate, Phase 5, if you wanna go solid or stronger, you can go Summit, Phase 2. TNT is also an option. But for me, I've been liking a little more length through the front lately. So this is what I've got in the bag. And that's gold label in slot number four. Heading into number five, it's another ball that's pretty similar in that middle-ish part of the bag. We've got Blackout, once again, returning for the October bag. This ball's been really good. It's been a staple, you know, in that slot. We need that ASIM to kind of get it to ramp up a little more, or hook a little more. We definitely have that. I did hit it with more surface to bring it closer to the top of the bag. And it's just a different shape.
and it's got that nice and blended motion. Honestly, slots three, four, and five, you can kind of throw them all in different spots. But the reason why I have this one in slot number five is because I've been bowling on more patterns that I get kind of cliff, and this is gonna be a little bit later. It's kind of backwards, but I'm throwing the clean strong ball after I'm throwing the slightly weaker balls because I'm trying to blend out that cliff. So other balls that you can put in this range, we got clone from Rotor Grip, 900 Global, we have Eternity. Those are gonna be great options if you don't have a blackout or, you know, frankly, you don't wanna get one, but I don't see why you wouldn't want one of these. Maybe that's why. I did take a good chunk to the left, but moving on, number five is gonna be Virtual Energy Blackout. Now this is a ball that has been around for a very long time. Slot number six is going to be High Road Pearl. And it's a ball that I have been neglecting for far too long. Typically at the bottom of the bag, I've had IQ Ruby, I've had Hustles, but those are also low RG, low diff, and the low diff makes it hard to hook them. Now I have to do a lot of manipulating to get it to come around the corner the way I want it to. High Road Pearl's got a higher diff. It's gonna wanna naturally hook more on its own. So when I'm moving left, this ball just does the right thing more often than not for myself, which is why it's made a return to the bag. Now, while it is still a cleaner piece, because of the numbers and how high the differential is, it still wants to blend off it really nice. It flares a good amount, still reads the body of the lane really well, and it's just always been a great bowling ball for myself. I've been throwing this thing since college, and I graduated college in 2016. Now we're gonna take another step to the left and see if we can get this thing to pick up the same way. That was actually not even close to where I wanted to throw it. And it just does the right thing, like I said. So slot number six is gonna be High Road Pearl. Any ball similar to that, that's where you're gonna want in slot number six. But again, IQ Ruby has been similar. Hustles as well. You can even lean Wolverines on the Niner Global side. Those are gonna give you similar looks, but High Road Pearl has just always been really good for me and has a special place in my heart. In short, what we got in the bag this month, at the top, we got Magic Gem. It's gonna be a great asymmetric piece. It's gonna be a fresh ball. First one out of the bag, especially for someone like myself. Number two is gonna be a second fresh option. It's gonna be the Tour Dynamics, a ball that's again making its appearance in October. Number three is going to be the brand new TNT Infuse. I'm not what I see out of this ball, to be honest. It's a really good middle piece. It's gonna be a really good option for later in the block because it's two parts pearl, one part solid. Slot number four is gonna be Zen Gold Label because Zen Ball good. It's gonna be a step after the Infused. And I'll add a little more surface on the Infused just to make them separated a little more. Slot number five is gonna be Virtual Energy Blackout. The core has been great for years and years and years and it's finally made a resurgence. So that ball staying in the bag and then to top it all off, High Road pearl at the end of the block because like Del Ballard used to say, all lanes come to a high road. That is our October bag update. If you guys are interested in learning a little more about how I build my arsenals a little more in an advanced way, check out the link in the description below, howtobold.com, help you master your game.